Hey guys! Happy day off if you guys had a day off. Unfortunately, my husband did not because he works in a hospital. But I wanted to share this quick, kid friendly, and I also put on there, even though he's recording this, spouse approved because sometimes the man behind the camera is tough too. Yeah, he's shaking his head no. So, um, this is probably a lot of stuff that I'm doing, you probably already have. Um, this is recipe is actually coming from the fixate cookbook so a lot of my 21 day fixers if you have this I have a feeling she's coming out with a second edition because Beachbody on demand has that fixate show she has so many more recipes on there I don't know mark my words so this is the macaroni and cheese with broccoli and chicken that's like such a normal recipe that's why I like this so I did the French toast this morning for my kids they loved it so I'm gonna share with you the macaroni and cheese now there is a part of this that you're going to feel like a chef, um, but it's not hard. So I just prepped, so you need one and a half cups of sharp quarter. cheese. One and a quarter. Oh, one and, oh yeah, one and a half of the almond milk. Thanks babe, he shredded the cheese. Can we all, thank you for shredding the cheese. I am the cheese shredder. Um, okay, so the hat, because people are gonna ask, is just from Target, and I was freezing, I was at Dun Tire. <clears throat> And I just left it on my head. Everyone keeps asking me, what kind of, what kind of had it? Just from Target, very easy. So one and a quarter of extra sharp cheddar cheese. This is Organic Valley brand. And make sure guys, cheese tastes best at room temperature. And it also melts better when it's at room temperature. So you're not gonna have like that curdling and stuff. So he's making fun of me, I don't care. So right now, our, what I've, we've already prepped and Joe put the chicken in the oven while I was at the Dun Tire place, I'll say that too. So it was just probably about, it was three chicken breasts, but they're a little bit larger. It is organic chicken. About we, a pound and a half is what it measure. Is that what it yeah. said? Yeah. Okay, but it was three breasts. All we did is put it in, the, he did, but you just put it in a glass dish at a little bit. You can see there's a little bit of water, but some of that water is actually from the chicken too. Salt and pepper it, roast it at 350 for like half an hour, and you're good to go. Uh, make sure you let it rest though. When you take it out, meat has to, the juices have to go back in. Otherwise you're gonna get it really dry. I mean, you could sop it up in cheese too. Is this boiling? Hold on. It might so, be boiling. These yeah, are get, my pot holders. Get some pot holders he gets so before mad. you Okay, but this is boiling, so I'm going to start this. So, <laughs> you need six cups of broccoli. Now, <clears throat> some kids don't like broccoli, and my suggestion is either cover it in tons of cheese or hide it. That's really what we do. What's what's wrong, Jeff? The lid's going to be hot. Don't burn your. I know. I got my pot holders. I swear, if we had a cooking show. Huh? Okay, so this brand is actually the Target brand. I usually get Wegmans, but it was on sale three for five. So I bought six of them. Um, just simply ba ba balanced. I didn't know what it was. Mm. Organic broccoli florets. Handy dandy pot holder. Look at that. Now this is a steamer. I love steamers. I love steaming my food. I think it tastes better. That's for the pasta that's already cooking. I'll show you that. So it has two layers. So if I only wanted to do one, but because this is the Molnar house and they eat me out of house and home, we have to do two. So it's six cups of broccoli. This recipe feeds eight, which I love because normally I have to like, if you watch my healthy French toast this morning, if you follow me on Snapchat, I had to take it. It serves two. So I had, gosh, the camera was like right there. It wasn't ready. So I had to take it and multiply it by like. Use your math skills. Four. I did, so I was like, two, four, six, eight would be 16 slices of French toast that should feed them. And of course, they were still hungry. So, broccoli is steaming. I will tell you, if you have the steamer, uh, you can actually just take a pot and just like a colander, like a, a steel one, not a plastic one, and stick that on and put, a, and put the top on and steam your veggies this way. They taste better this way. You can roast them, you can do whatever you want to this broccoli. Just don't add any extra oils or anything because that'll screw up your containers if you follow the 21 day fix. So, the pasta back here is boiling. I want to check that. This is a, I hate tasting the pasta. This is gluten free for me. Um, yeah, I think it's done, babe. See? Do you want to come over and look? He's my pasta tester. Scoop me out a little little nugget of pasta there, babe. All right, here you go. Sure, it's gonna be screaming hot. Okay. Bear with us, people. I'm gonna take this, this is one down here. Okay, I think it's done. Nope, a couple more minutes. Oh, 
I turned it off. All right. Wrong burner. Wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God I cook, but every time I turn on a burner, I pick the wrong one. A little tough. Okay, so this is the pasta I use. It's al dente probably. Mm -hmm. It's just gluten-free. It's just made of brown rice. It tastes like white pasta, doesn't it, babe? Like... Whole wheat pasta was no bueno for my husband and kids. It's, which it's really good. I could never eat it, but now that, you know, and I'm not someone to be like, oh, I don't need bread, I don't need pasta. I don't need... Like, as long as it's gluten free, my stomach can handle it. Doesn't mean that it's any less calories. So, starting off, you have to make what's called, I think it's called a roux. I'm asking him like he knows. So, we use grass fed Kerrygold butter. So, we need two teaspoons. Let me just, do, four teaspoons. Okay. You ready? Come on over. I'm ready. Because this moves quickly, baby. So, just a medium high heat. So, you just need four. I'm very scared, very scared. I know, I'm usually very messy. Hey, I'm a good cook, though. You are a good cook. Okay, so just four teaspoons. You want that just to melt real quickly. You don't, but here's the thing you're going to add flour to it, that's going to be that thickening agent. Also, when you add your pasta into your water, add a little bit of Himalayan salt. That way it'll salt the pasta instead of having to do it after. It tastes so much better. Um, okay, so this is the flour I use. You can get this at your grocery store or you can get it on Amazon. It is a gluten-free flour. Nobody can tell the difference. My husband makes waffles with it. You can't tell the difference, right? It's really good. It actually makes stuff a little fluffier. I think, I think so, too. Like the cornbread, yep. I think it makes it so much better. Okay, so this one, let me just double check the recipe. It's two tablespoons, I think. Yeah. Okay, so all you're going to do is you add the flour, you whisk it for a minute till it browns, but don't let it burn, and then you stir in one and a half cups of almond milk. Unsweetened. I will tell you this mm -hmm. is unsweetened, but it's vanilla. It's vanilla unsweetened almond milk. We use it all the time. You can't taste the vanilla. So, there you go. Or you could use a milk. Um, if you follow me, I'm not big on soy. I'm not big on flax milk. Um, those contain phytoestrogens, which lead to estrogens in your body. How cool is this? How do we not love this? A nice seal, and I don't have to worry about it. Okay, so, babe, you wanna come over here? So you I'm just want on. to, you're just kind of breaking up the lumps of it. You want it to get brown, and when it gets brown, it's gonna get a little bit nutty. You're just mixing it together so it's very smooth. And I actually don't let it get really any bit darker than that. Because I'm always afraid it's going to burn, and one time I let it burn, and it's nasty. So, you can see it's pretty much all combined. I try to bring a lot of the thickness into the middle. So this is your roux. And then you're going to add the milk. I'm just making sure. Oh, okay, one to two minutes. So this is just gonna thicken. Almond milk is thicker anyway. Sorry about my head. Mm. Okay, so then you're just gonna mix this up. Then I'm gonna add the one and a quarter cup of cheese to this. Again, you're just mixing it up, blending it. And then you add, once the broccoli's done, you add the broccoli to it, you add the pasta to it, and then you add the chicken to it. So. This is about three and a half cups. It calls for three cups, but a little bit more chicken's not gonna do any harm. So that's the recipe. And then if you're following the containers, this will count as a green, a yellow, half of a red. However, if you, what I do, so I make sure I get my red, is I fill up the chicken with a red, and then I take my pasta, and then I add the broccoli and stuff to it. So that way I know I'm getting a real full red. That's just me. And then half of a blue because of the dairy and all that. So that is, and you're going to measure out, I think it's a one and a half cups. So you're going to mix it all together and then measure it out. So if you're going to do it the way I do it, I suggest that you measure out your chicken with a red. Take the veggies. If you want, measure that out with a green. Then measure out the pasta with a yellow because that's going to count. And then the blue, just fill up half of a blue of this sauce. Magical, right there. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Any questions, let me know. And thanks for joining me.